All right, guys, we're here on the MS-440. We're about to leave the crankcases. Um, what I'm gonna do, because I have both out here, makes it really simple. Um, these case halves in the oven, it is okay to do that. These are a nylon cage bearing, but we're not getting them hot enough to actually hurt anything. Um, gonna try 225 degrees in the oven. I've already got the crank in the freezer. Um, this is the flywheel side. Like I said, those pins, you'd have to pull them out with pliers. That's a good thing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put these in the oven. I don't know, 20 minutes or so. Just long enough to get them hot. And I'm going to have my gasket with some uh, Modo seal on it ready just to drop right on. And try to put these together here for you guys. Alright guys, got that gasket, just a thin coat of Permatex Moto Seal. You want to use some kind of crankcase seal. It's fuel resistant. It doesn't really matter what it is as long as it's like a motorcycle case assembly silicone. It's fuel resistant. Use it. Um, just make sure it's fuel resistant. It'll be fine. And we've got our cases over here in the oven. Got to kind of try to work quick with this. We got one shot. <laughs> They've been in the oven oh, a good 20 minutes. Crank's been in the freezer around an hour. So with a little luck, hopefully we can uh, get them again. Put this gasket on. I hope we've got them hot enough to go together. I had that oven set at 225. I don't know how accurate it is, but we're about to find out. This is the flywheel side, so you want to taper it in to go in. Hence for the flywheel. That cranks froze like a block of ice. Boom, I'm going to get the other case and they all go together that easy. We're going to gotta move quick. Probably gonna get burn on my hands. There you have it. No freaking special tools needed. Save your money, pick yourself up an old toaster oven. This one was my wife's come out of the house, been here over a decade. Works like a champ. We've got our bolts, um, T27. Five bolts, you've got one here, 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 and here. T27 Torx. What I'll do is run them down with this, and then we'll take the T-handle, crank them down some more. You got your bolt here. And if you put these together, crank don't freely spin. I'll show you what to do. You can tap it back and forth the hammer or something just to free them up. But as easy as that went together, I'm expecting not to really have a problem. You're not hurting a thing. This seal set up on this is actually different than other steels I've done. Kind of weird. Um, <laughs> it has a sleeve that goes down in kind of like a 372. Which is really awkward for a steel. Your 360s and 026s have a sleeve that the worm gear rides on. But the worm gear in this has a little bigger pitch to it. 
not sure really what the culprit was on still doing that, but I guess it is what it is. <laughs> Crank these three down first. I'm probably really overdoing it, but never had one come apart either. We had a camera malfunction, got to this last bolt. It's a little deeper in there than the others. So our T handle kind of has to come out and go out on its end. Check our bottom one one last time. I got a lot of light on this for you guys, and it is blinding the hell out of me. I'm not gonna lie, but it is what it is. Um, I'm not expecting this to turn very freely without wrapping it with a hammer. That's actually not bad. Nine times out of ten. She's a done deal. Putting your cases together is that simple. Um, and honestly, it looks like it's lined up good. What I'll do. Okay, you have checked. Uh, usually about a 20 thousandths feeler gauge on each side, but these cases are a little different. We probably got 40 thousandths on each side. We got it good and even. It's fine. Like I said, don't lose any sleep on it over it if it ain't perfect um the main thing is have it most of the way centered and get it together our seals still look amazing burns still feel good it's a done deal didn't get them warm enough to hurt anything you can use a heat gun if you don't have an oven but i think everyone has an oven and a freezer Actually, I think the oven works better because it heats everything evenly and you've seen how easy that flopped together. Um, going in this video here, be a short one. Um, crankcase assembly. Video over. I appreciate you guys watching. Next thing we're going to get into is uh, I'll probably mount the piston. Check see where squish is at and if we needed anything with that cylinder if we need to get another one i'm not going to take something stupid like 30 or 40 thousandths off of the base of that thing just to get squish dialed in if we can get it anything under 30 it's 70 cc saw it'd be a done deal she'll run good i'd really like to see 25 or less but it is what it is we'll see um anyway look for part number two to come shortly. Thank you guys. Have a good one.